Wednesday morning, um, just coming up to just after half eleven. Um, I've been up for a couple of hours now. Um, Elena's already gone to work. I have the day off. Gonna go training a little while later. Um, just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on how my contest prep has been going so far. So it is nine and a half weeks to go today. Um, at the moment, I weighed in today and yesterday, um, exactly the same, at 80.8 kilos. Uh, calories at the moment are at around, around 2,400, 23 to 2,400. Um, they have come down a little bit since I started. Um, let me have a minute. We have an intruder here. Sit still with me. Um, and basically my macro breakdown has been it started at uh, 280 protein um, 200 carbs and around 60 fats um, the carbs has dropped a little bit um, so far uh, basically how I've been judging is if I have three to four days um, where the weight stays the same and I'm not noticing any changes in body composition um, then uh, I've cut the carbs by a few grams and um, I have had to have a few refeeds along the way and um, so it, it has it has kept me um, saner than before now I, I haven't pushed too quick but my condition is coming in better and I've not had any crazy binges or mad cravings really yet um, hopefully that will continue um, it's hard to know what's so different this time um, the last one I think maybe it was a case of putting myself under too much pressure um, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to make the weight I pushed really really hard to make sure that I would early and um, just went into far too high a deficit and that, that triggered me um, now I'm uh, being much more balanced about things. Um, my routine is is much better. Um, I also think Elaine being uh, prepping as well has made it a lot easier. Um, she has a good moderating influence on me. Um, hopefully, I do the same for her. Hey guys, what's up? I'm just uh, about to leave the house now. I'm just gonna go to uh, Brute Force Nutrition, just up the road, and then I'm gonna go around and train chest in Northwood. Uh, rejoined there the other day. So it's cool to be back. It's a bit closer than Swords as well. So I'll cycle up, um, it's only a couple of kilometers, a little bit of cardio, um, and then hit the gym. Um, yeah, like I said, gonna go train chest. Uh, I will catch up you guys in a few minutes.
I am home. I uh, just finished my chest workout. Um, cycled back and uh, just got to go and do some editing and then do some food for the evening. Um, but yeah, I've been pretty happy with the, the look. Um, for, for once, it, it, it's closer than I... It's closer than I've ever been to the vision that's in my head of how I want my physique to look. Um, that's not to say that I'm anywhere near done. This industry, um, body confidence is uh, it, it's something that a lot of people will struggle with. I know I have myself. Um, I suppose in some ways maybe a lot of people end up doing this sport because of issues with that um, I'm not trying to make a generalization but that sometimes does seem to be the case that so you guys know what I picked up um, in brute force when I was uh, before training, um, I had to pick up a uh, um, uh, protein isolate. Um, basically, uh, as most of you already know, um, isolate proteins uh, fast absorbed, um, and that's going to be really good post workout. We also got uh, casein, um, which is slower release, which is good for before bed. Now. There are arguments about whether or not um, casein is actually going to trigger protein synthesis because it does tend to be lower in the BCAA leucine um, and then becomes more anti-catabolic as opposed to anabolic. But um, for me, uh, you know, it's, it's something that I can just add in. Uh, I don't think it's going to do any harm and um, it's... Uh, something that tastes really good and any little thing like that can help when you're um, during your prep and you're starting to struggle yeah now it's time to just uh, chill for the evening I'll try and get this done and I'll talk to you guys soon thanks